Hey there, welcome to Sage Sunset Healing Tarot. Cancers, this is your reading. Huh? We're gonna get into some messages for you. See what's going on in your energy. What are you dealing with in your general energy, Cancerian? Might pick up on some love readings. The lovers and the king of wands <laughs> okay <laughs> i'm laughing because the king of wands is like that he's a very creative and wise person um you know magician energy also that person that um wants to win wants to be victorious with you possibly possibly cancer with you all right can i get well let me see if i can get one more card another card <laughs> and we have the lovers oh my god <sighs> the magician right <laughs> the magician flew okay so we're putting the magician right in the middle here so the magician is that alchemy person wise intuitive you see they have the four elements to be very creative to be able to manifest what they want out of this life creative could be an earth sign and then we have the lovers card which is like a destined inter divine, divine connection between two people the lovers they're meant to come together all right so let's see what happens I'm going to shake my stones in the meantime go ahead and you know focus your intentions on the deck here what's really in your energy cancerian you know just focus on that feeling so that we can get the most accurate messages for you in this time cancerian energy in love in career in life in general messages for today thank you Whew. okay oh i feel soft like caress interaction possibly with an earth sign that mm, an earth sign the heart feels full how does that feel could be a good feeling like the full moon there may be release in energy for someone so I'm going to shuffle here and then I'll separate the deck in three to get your messages Because I have a lover's card here on the left hand corner, it might be this deck here that speaks about your romantic situation, your love life. All right, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Thank you. Thank you for coming through. Much really appreciate appreciate your energy, your presence here. So grateful. Thank you for being here. 
and let's get through to your messages first card what's going on what is this energy for cancerian hmm. the five of pentacles hmm wow so i feel like there may be a rift in your relationship like even though you both of you belong together in some sense you guys are to be together you guys have a lot of passion and possibly you know real love with for each other but you're not letting it show right now as if you guys have each other in time out or it could be one person who has the other on this time out <laughs> something went I don't know but there's not a there, there is not a lot of show of affection here each person may be dealing with their own thing internally emotions going memories all right let's see wow there needs to be balance There needs to be balance in this partnership, in this relationship. Each should be doing his, his own duty. Can you see here the five of pentacles? They feel left out in the cold. One person feels broken. No one is really attending to each other's needs. Is that If that's what's going on in your situation. It's as if each person is just into themselves, figuring out their own emotions and not turning to one another at all at this point. And then I have the Six of Cups where there's giving, there's receiving, there's joy, there's beauty and abundance, blessings, wishes being fulfilled. You guys may be going out on dates, being brought flowers, all the charm and all that beautiful even childlike essence that teenage kind of love where it's just so beautiful you guys think of each other and there's a text message just kind of, that kind of beautiful connection that would really represent a twin flame love up here you know that you guys really belong in this in this union together but there's sort of a deprivation going on or maybe you guys have passed that no and are working on your situation could be in love cancerian so you could be dealing with an earth sign taurus virgo or a capricorn an earth sign that may not be feeling valuable right now or it could be you that is feeling that way instead of feeling warm and affectionate just giving your love you feel like maybe you don't have the space to do so because there's so much around you maybe memories or injured feelings you know hurt that is that takes up the space around you and so maybe your heart is a bit closed off maybe you're now focusing more on getting your money together raising your values your standards so that when you are ready to to be open again it feels you know much different a brighter day sunshiny birds singing you're ready to receive but maybe for now cancerian you're really just working on your values your sense of value that could be financial or internally oh my sorry about that sound i don't know how loud it picks up all right just working on your core values i see i feel you're going to come out on top though it's there's a lot of sunshine and brightness in your in your love life still like there's much to be grateful for so maybe if you you know look around to focus on things even in your own self your own individual self what you love to do who you are your own nature and come into connection with that you know to kind of warm your heart first i know that in relationships we tend 
it's a relationship you know <laughs> so we should be giving we should be giving to one another but things happen so I feel it is okay for you to really take this time we're coming out on top you are coming out on top reassess your your sense of worth your boundaries your standards and so you receive well from a, a, a more a, a more solid place this time around cancerian it is okay i feel because once you're at the five that means you're physically putting in the work whether you're working on your ideas your passions your money i feel you're working on but your love life is still here that may be not getting the full-blown affection and commitment patience all of what love entails in a relationship at this point because you felt like you need to really actively work on your growing your money your sense of worth i feel like your partner is still present with you because in each card here there's two of you so even though it's not going awesome they are still with you you might be wanting to at some point thinking you want to get away cancerian <laughs> i don't know but your partner and you share the same kind of emotions they may be an earth sign i said but they do have water in their chart so this person could be emotional on another level and maybe it's the communication really that's not being the most um what is the word like you guys are having communication issues oh my god pardon me okay i'm back sorry about that i was saying it feels as if you guys might be having communication problems maybe in the way you speak to one another you know one could be trying to reach out to the other trying to figure out how to communicate uh but it's not being reciprocated a person could be dark-skinned a dark-skinned individual hmm. okay so that's what i see communication issues but you guys are still together both of you are one or either of you could be working on your pentacles your money your sense of value self-worth creating the life around you that you want to see so it's possi possibly we can say it's a good look because you're not remaining stagnant in a cycle you're actually taking the time to readjust because if there were arguments then that means you guys need to really work on some something other that's what I'm saying even though you guys do belong together so maybe for it to become this strong bond this is what is needed in this time so are we gonna move on to the second stack of cards so I hope that this the messages of your love life was interesting and it resonates with you so we're gonna see what the second card is saying here hmm. <sighs> what are you about Pentacles so it's the magician card along with the seven of pentacles rewiring hmm i feel like there's wow you guys are working on your your sense of value and self-worth you guys want to be better I feel like you guys want to be the best version of yourselves and maybe that is what will make the union between you two even stronger maybe in the end after you guys have overcome that little mountain you guys are seeing progress progress in the work that you do you see there's progress there's maybe it's time for reaping maybe it's that time to feed into the good because you have been putting into the work it's time to really harvest to make use of what was planted planted is the magician card working growing fertility so you guys want to be the best of yourselves whether that is financially or morally um morally 
financially spiritually yes you guys are working on self-development self-love self-appreciation bringing in that money so you guys can live the best lives maybe the issue that you guys have in your in your romance love life it's it's somehow centered around money and working on money well i did say that <laughs> but it's being presented over here in the second row again so over here are so we'll see what this this the other card the third card will see so i feel like individually you guys are working on yourself self-development self-care self-love so i did mention that over here so we'll see what happens earth sign taurus virgo capricorn that works with an with their emotions maybe have a water sign in their chart cancer pisces scorpio the magician works with all the elements yes yes i feel like there's rewiring of our um emotions going on like maybe not responding to the same triggers are repeating old habits so i feel like you guys are working on transforming even childhood traumas looking back into yourselves maybe listening to gratitude affirmations it's that kind of energy i feel with the magician energy and the seven of wands it's like you're putting in that work to be better to speak better to feel better think better and you are seeing the results come through and that's why i'm saying i feel like you are going to get over this just keep at it. I feel like it is for a reason. Let's look at the second card of the deck. Okay, the Page of Swords is my fabulous. It's my card of fabulosity, of being swift and direct. So maybe this transformation is coming in swiftly. Gone with the wind, fabulous. Maybe you guys have transformed already. As if you're embracing bracing for the change to come through bracing for that feeling of newness to really find you as if it's almost harvest time and you feel it on the wind coming it's it's almost ready as if the pot almost done cook you know it's almost ready and you're waiting like you have your tools ready to go to go reap <laughs> I feel like you're you're ready something is coming into you swiftly it could be a message someone could be sending a message that contains something that is highly valuable could be a check so something is coming in a message of I feel like maybe something being over the end of something the end of something so a message might be coming in in regards to the self-love and development that you've been doing or you might feel the change swiftly because sometimes we are working internally and we're there's just there's an energy shift that like you're like whoa that's how i used to feel and think you didn't even realize that you were about to change so it feels like that kind of transformation coming into you okay now we're going to go on to the third and final deck over here. Let's see what this King of Wands is standing by. Magician energy. Leaving. Hmm. Moving. Being solid and more grounded. Moving. Moving. Dancing. Moving away from. Moving out of. Moving on from cycles, moving on from cycles, like something is being blown out of the air as a wind comes through and just carries something away from you or from between both of you. If you're really focusing on this as a complete love reading. Something is moving out. It could be someone. It could be just an energy that is dissipating. Something is moving on and being carried away from you. 
and I feel like you realized it was coming. You know it was coming. You were prepared for it. Maybe financially prepared for this move too. You're prepared to move, to travel, to go forth, to maybe you're bearing something. Maybe you are the one that's bringing a message of something to someone or a group of people. Maybe you're moving on to something better, you know, with a mission, a purpose. You have found a reason to move on. And so you're moving on instead of away from. Maybe that could be the result. Moving on, maybe leaving the past behind. Maybe just dropping the past, cutting it loose really. And going into a place where you have your boundaries intact, you feel safe, you feel sure, confident, direct, you know who you are, you're not ifing and butting about your sense of self. You've elevated and so you're moving up and on. You may be taking with you what you have learned. Well, all that you've learned really. All that all that you have learned from from past experiences. You know, not the negatives, but the the valuable things, the lessons, the blessings. What you've gotten from the situation, your sense of self-worth of value, of boundary standards, you're taking taking those with you on into the new. All right, let's look at the, another card here. What will you say? Oh my gosh, that's the King of Cups. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> the King of Cups. Well, so we have the King of Wands and the King of Cups. <laughs> I don't know, okay. I don't know if you're dealing with two people now. Nah. Uh-uh. One could be more suiting to you. He could be like waiting on you coming on this water here. You know what I'm saying? Look at this. He's like waiting for you. He knows you're coming on this water. Or it, it is your higher sense of self. Or you know what you're moving into, Cancer. Because the King of Cups is a Cancerian card, my love okay so it could be you who is moving into the highest sense of yourself after putting in the work you have that's why i said i felt that you would transcend i felt that even though maybe you're not feeling wonderful in some cases or some areas of your life it's all coming together it's working out well you have some highly valuable cards on the table cancer lovers magician king of wands hmm. the king of wands is that go-getter energy or he feels maybe entitled to receive maybe he's a bit grumpy sometimes like feels he's demanding he could be a manipulator he could be moving away from this person you know it could be you really deciding to move on from this energy of feeling like you're around someone who is maybe a narcissist or a manipulator. But not that they're terrible, it's just that's the energy that you get from this person. I feel like you're working wholly and wholesomely on yourself to become better and want better, to reinstate your sense of self-worth so that you can move on into yourself, queen or king. Look at you, where you feel trust and valuable and grounded. Yes, give thanks. You feel like you can believe in yourself, you, as if you know who you are, you're not being questioned. You can connect with your sense of spirituality and divinity and powers and nobleness, all of you. And just know who you are without someone who maybe think and feel differently than you might cause you to question yourself or it could be this person I don't know you know you would feel the message 
best as it resonates with you so you just have to take from what i'm saying and see how it applies but don't like force it to fit in there just be open and feel for the positivity out of out of the messages because it's beautiful oh my gosh you know what you want and what you deserve to have and so uh, you're, you're coming out on top anyway anyway so just continue well this is the energy that i'm getting is that if you do continue working on yourself being proud of yourself being confident and um like moving away from things that are not serving you and going into that which is being benefit beneficial to you you know not being well you have to be selfish sometimes <laughs> all right i'm going to end the reading here thank you so much for listening and i really hope that this message resonates with you in the best way all right cancerian see you in another reading all the best to you until that time again much love bye